This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are well. Hopefully you are well. We are running a little bit late this morning, and that is because we were caught in the traffic coming the other way. <laughs> Um, so we had, we're just leaving the yard now and we're heading towards Tetbury, but getting to work this morning, I had to get in all this traffic and, um, yeah, let's just say it made me a good sort of 45 minutes late. Um, it looks like, uh, the car that was in a ditch has been removed now. Uh, so I think this is about to open up, but as you can see near stationary traffic and I was caught in it all the way, all the way to work. To work. I know it's a bit dark. I'm just, if I turn that on, I can still see outside. You might be able to see me a bit better. Anyway, hopefully you're well. We have got today's Friday, by the way, and we've got uh, to go to Tetbury and get loaded. Then we've got two deliveries, and then we've got to go get loaded from H and H, and then come back to the yard. Nice, easy, simple day. I don't know what places exactly I'm going to later, and uh, I know roughly the area, but I don't know what places. But I think, I think. It's going to be Chandler's Building Supplies, it's going to be the first one, and it's more than likely going to be bulk bags. Now, they're quick, once you're in, they're quick to get you tips, but <laughs> not the last time, but the time before that, I couldn't, they wouldn't let me in because there was another truck in there. You've got to park up on the road, and lots of cars went past, and they were honking their horn because you were in the road, you were in their way. How dare a lorry be in the way? Um, so I think that's the first drop we've got to go to today. Second drop has got to go to a nursery, which I've also delivered to in the past. Uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, that would most likely be pallets. And why would we slow down to 53 miles an hour? Let's overtake this car. So that's the garden centre. I think that's down sort of near Brighton area. Then we've got to go back up, back up to H&H, um, &H, get loaded with blocks, bring that back to the yard, unstrap it in the yard. Then we've got to get transshipped to another trailer, but I think that's been done Monday. But I've got to unstrap it, ready. So yeah, that's the plan for today. It's obviously quite dark in the morning. It is 10 past 7. And it's well and truly dark mornings now, isn't it? <laughs> well and truly dark mornings. I've got my head torch down here somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. Got my head torch. So if I need to do daily checks and stuff now, I can do that. It's just on charge. Um, so yeah, I can do daily checks in the dark. Nice and easy. And also if I need to like strap up and stuff uh, in the dark, then that'll come in handy. I'm looking at you, Chep, and Swindon. Because <laughs> just recently I've been strapping up in the pitch black. <laughs> anyway, light's going to go off. We're going to make our way to Tetbury. We'll be there in about half an hour's time. We're looking about just after half past seven. So not too bad, but I did want to be there before seven o'clock. Um, but obviously that traffic is, uh, is, is messing me up a little bit. Anyway, I will see you when we get in Tetbury. See you in a bit. Well, at least it's light. But it's absolutely pissing it down. Right, as you can see, we're being loaded now. We've got to start throwing some straps over. Uh, the pallets, well, basically what I was saying earlier was right, the pallets is for uh, the garden centre and the bags are for the challenge building supplies. I'm absolutely bloody wet. Uh, I'm, I'm soaked. I've got some uh, some funny stuff to tell you though once we're, once we're strapped up and the curtains are closed and we're in the truck. Oh, I've got some funny stuff to tell you. Yeah, so just to confirm. It's still wet out. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you what that funny story is now. <laughs> you probably know where it's going to be straight away, where it's going. I keep my boots on the steps. Now I keep one boot there. It's just mud. One boot there and one boot here. This one, fine. This one, not fine. Absolutely soaked. I got out earlier and I could you not. I did that. And literally, water just spilled out. <laughs> so I need to dry that off as soon as possible. Luckily, I got spare trainers. So I'm wearing these for now. These are not waterproof, and my feet are absolutely soaking wet. So I need to dry that boot as soon as possible. I'm going to put it on the dash or something. I think on a bit of paper, on a cloth. Put the boot up there. Whack the heating on. I'm going to have to just leave it on. Uh, blast. <laughs> so I need to try and get that um, dry because one of the places I'm going to later I have to wear the boots, the H&H. &H. And um, yeah, and I need to get, I need a new pair of um, socks on as well because they're soaked. So 
when we when we're done, we're gonna jump in the truck and, and sort ourselves out because I'm uh, as you can see, it it's 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 wet. It's very wet. <laughs> ah, we're strapped up. Strapped up. Let's uh see the curtains up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. <coughs> I'm gonna have to put it up there. There's no, there's no choice. I'm gonna have to put it up there. Um, yeah. That other boot is fine. I need to pull over, but we'll go out a second. Oh my God. It's a bit of wet out there. Uh, there's that beacon again, I've got no idea what that is. It's not collision, there's nothing in front of me. It's not lines. It's gotta be like, when I'm leaving and arriving at places, I don't know. I don't know. But we've got to, we've got to do some stuff before we, uh, before we crack on. That boot, <laughs> that boot needs to dry. It's where it's on the second step up. There are lots of puddles on the way, on the way in. And um, yeah, it's obviously got absolutely soaked because of it. Right, let's just stop here a second. I will need my hard hat later. I'm already wearing trousers for later. My outside high vis is outside. Do I have a second? I've got to get dry, otherwise, yeah, well, no one likes wearing wet clothes, do they? My jeans are quite wet, that's the problem. Right, fresh trousers on. Uh, right, it's a bit more comfortable now. Wet clothes are off. Ah, paperwork. <laughs> My paperwork got wet. Right, destinations are in the sat nav. Put the microphone on. Time's getting on, man. Did that stop raining? No. I thought it'd stop raining then. I was like, yeah, that'd be about right, wouldn't it? My truck is filthy dirty now with like rain marks all over the place. I'm not happy. Right, I could turn off my cord. My, um, Heated seat. Normally I have it on air cord. Mate, he's still asleep. He was asleep when I got here. Yeah, normally I've got my seat on uh, air cord, air con cord, whatever you call it. I swapped it to heated <laughs> to help dry it up a bit. And now my buttock, my buttocks is now too warm. <laughs> so it's back on, back on cold it goes. But yeah, look at all this water. I hope, I hope my other shoe, which is still in the door, at the top remains dry. I hope it remains dry. Um, but yeah, you'll see it's pretty flooded most of the way out of here. So it's a good two hours, two hours, 16 minutes it says, to our first delivery. So hopefully that's plenty of time for our boot to dry up there. Look at this, that. Bloody hell. Look like a waterfall coming out of that field. <laughs> See that window up. But yeah, no, time's getting on. So we're going to be at our first delivery point. Assuming traffic's kind to us, we should be there about 11 o'clock. Assuming we can get in and out pretty quickly. Say 12 o'clock we leave. I don't know how long it takes them to get to the second place. Probably a good hour and a half. 12, plus one. So we're there for an hour, half past two. It's pushing it for our booking time to get loaded again. Either way, it's going to be a late one tonight, I think. Um, I can't see us getting back to the yard until like seven-ish, but whatever, let's take that as it goes. 
someone keeps saying, or well, not keeps, but several, every now and then someone comments, are oh, always going on about when you're getting home. Oh yeah, I just like to work out. What's, what's wrong with that, like? <laughs> and wife and kids at home, they'd like to know roughly what time I'm home. <laughs> um, so yeah, I reckon we get back about seven-ish, but I don't care what time I get back. We get back when we get back. You know, once the job is done. We, but we do need to get a move on. Hopefully we um, don't get held up anywhere. Um, there is an issue with this Iveco. I've always said I will be open and honest about it. And there is an issue with it. Hopefully it's an easy fix. But um, normally AdBlue um, needs replacing sort of every three days. So no normally what we do is we, we fill up on a Friday or whatever. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those days, preferably like Tuesday, Wednesday, we will fill up and then it should last then to the end of the week. We also carry, um, well, supposed to carry, spare cartons of Adblue Rivers as well. I haven't actually got any on me at the moment. Um, anyway, this truck at the moment, for some reason, is saying I have a 100% Adblue level. And uh, it has said this since Monday. <laughs> um, I have filled up in between. Uh, basically, the sensor is not working, I suspect. I did uh, report this to the boss. I had an inspection, but uh, yeah, it wasn't fixed. Don't know why. I'm going to assume that they wasn't told at the inspection that it needed doing. I'm going to assume. So, we got to keep an eye on the blue level, basically, because it says I've got a full tank, when I might not necessarily actually have a full tank. Oh, my truck is no longer in eco mode. That's good. Uh, at first, I didn't really notice any difference, to be honest with you. Coming out of the yard, didn't really feel any difference. Wouldn't, I wasn't heavy or anything either. But you feel the difference when you are fully loaded. There is a bit more power. No, no, no I don't know. I think power is the wrong word. I think it's got, it's got the same power. It just sort of... It doesn't change gears quite so quickly. And it doesn't limit the throttle response, let's say. Um... I was saying that when it was in eco mode, sometimes you join onto motorways from slip roads, and if it was an ever so slight gradient, the truck would be like, nah, let's, let's, let's let gravity do, do its thing, and we don't need to accelerate, let's just build up speed slowly. <laughs> Whereas now, it just goes, it just gets there, so it's weird. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the last of the big floods, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll see you when we get to our first delivery point in, well it's updated now, it's two and a half hours, so there must be a bit of traffic in front, <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, you join me an hour and a half later. Bear in mind it should have only taken two, two hours and 30 minutes maximum. We should only be an hour away. We're still two and a half hours away still. <laughs> we are in Wooten Bassett, just around the corner from Tetbury. And we've been been here for an hour and a half. It is now ten o'clock in the morning, and we're still going through Wooten Bassett. Job is not going well. Personally, I can't see me getting to my collection point in time to, to load. Because I mean, right now it's saying our ETA to our first job is half past twelve. We'll see. <laughs> we, we can do what we can do. But um, I think the motorway's closed. The M4. Uh, between Chippenham and um, and Swindon or something. There's there's traffic all over the place. Um, I am pulling the curtain side of trailer. I'm pulling a curtain side of trailer, which is 4.35 metres tall. There's a bridge going under Halavington, um, which takes you from Tetbury, well, Malmesbury, to Junction 17 on the M4. There's Halavington Bridge, and it's a 4.2 metre bridge. Um, I've been told that apparently this, this trailer's been under it, but I don't want to risk it. Um, it's a 4.2 metre bridge and the trailer says quite clearly 4.33. So I'm not risking it. So I've gone through Wooten Bassett. 
which actually should be quicker. Um, but yeah, there's traffic in Wooden Bassett as well. And yeah, not good. Not good. <laughs> oh, dearie. And we've done an hour and... F oh, gosh. If we're not careful, we need to stop for a break before we even get there. Because the driving time's adding up. We're on, we're on an hour and 45 minutes of driving time already. And we're still two hours and 20 minutes away. So we might even need to stop for a break yet. If it's like this all the way, we're going to need to have a break on the way down. It's not going well. It's uh, it stopped raining temporarily. I don't know what the what's happening. To be honest with you, I don't know whether there's a crash. Don't know. No idea. No idea at all. Uh, it's Twenty past ten in the morning now. Right, we left a good two hours ago. <laughs> We're still. We're still not even on the M4. We're still going through back. Well, we've, we're kind of through Bassett now. We're on the tail end of it. We've got like half a mile to the M4. I don't know why. Is it up ahead? I think maybe there's a flood up ahead. I just had a van, by the way, go past and flash. So, hello, whoever you were. I think you had like checkered flag. I think. I think it was. If I remember rightly, I think it was a white van with checkered flags on it. I could be wrong, but hello. <laughs> I wonder if Third people were... Traffic on A31 are you telling me? Traffic jam ahead between Old Malmesbury Road and B40 05 Hay Lane, 11 minutes delay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I reckon this was causing a bit of traffic. If we go fast enough, it sort of disperses it a little bit. Yeah, the traffic's eased up now. I think it was literally just because of that, cars going slow. We've been caught in that for a good hour, at the very least. An hour and a half, I think. It's opening up now. Just because of that. The M4 is shut as well, by the way. Um, so had we have gone under her Lavington, I believe we could, <laughs> I believe we'd still be there waiting because the, the motorway is indeed shut. The M4 is shut. So this was, well, it's the most direct route. The other way would have been to go to Sirencester and um, go round that way and up the A419. But how was I to know at the time? That At the time, that just looks like a, a silly way of going because it was just extra mileage for no reason whatsoever. But in hindsight, it would have been the quicker way to go. But... Never mind. Anyway, we want this lane here, M4 East. Can't believe it's nearly half past ten. And we're not even on the M4 yet. <laughs> we're not going to get to the first delivery point until after 12 o'clock. So, time is against us, considering we've got to go all the way down to Brighton. The vice said where I'm actually going, so we're going to Leatherhead. Then we're going down to Hassocks, which is near Brighton, or down that way, and then back up again to H&H. Um, &H. Is it Ignum? Ignum, Seven Oaks area, on the M25. Yeah, a bit of wheel spin now. We're in, not in the eco mode and sort of power mode. A bit of wheel spin as we set off. Got to be careful of that. Um, time is not on our side, that's for sure. Anyway, we're on the M4 now, let's crack on. We're still a good couple of hours away. <laughs> See you when we get there. Right, we are just around the corner from our first delivery. We finally got through all the traffic. It's been traffic everywhere, man. It's been a nightmare. Absolute nightmare, but we're, we're doing what we can. <laughs> we're doing what we can. We're only a mile and a half away, just over five minutes. Um, less than that, actually. So... Um, I've already got their number saved in my phone, so I'm going to give them a quick call. John, there's Booker Max speaking. Yeah, hi there, mate. I've got a delivery for you from Melcourt Industries. I'm just around the corner. Is it okay to come straight in? I'm in an Arctic. Well, you got Arctic. Bear me two seconds, mate. I'll just check. All yeah, right? Cheers, two mate. Sec. Thank you, mate. Straight in and straight up, buddy. Straight in, straight up. All right, mate. No worries. I'm just uh, just down the road, just in the traffic at the moment. Enjoy the traffic lights, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. No worries. Sweet, mate. Bye, bye. Cheers, bye, mate. 
Yeah, so that's why there's a lot of uh, red lines outside. There's traffic lights. We're only half a mile away. But he did say come straight in, so that is what I'm going to do. That makes it doubly important that I phone, because otherwise I'd have to wait up outside and I'd just be causing chaos. If they said, no, don't come in, I wouldn't really have a lot of options other than to stop where I am, pretty much. There's, if I pulled over to the left, there's enough room for vehicles to get past me and the vehicles the other way. There wouldn't be much of a choice other than to just park outside, but that would cause even more chaos. I think, oh, I think we're going to have traffic queuing up coming the other way outside the premises where I need to turn left and I need, I need the other side of the road to get in. It's going to be chaos. There's, there's nowhere that I can go past, spin around and come back either. Like if there was a roundabout, then um, the wise thing to do would be to go straight past, turn around at the roundabout, come back the other way, re-queue in the traffic. But at least then I've got the right, the right angle to turn in. But there is no roundabout to do that and there's nowhere really safe to spin around. Not with all the traffic. So we've got no option but to go in this way. If we're lucky, the traffic lights themselves, the, the area that they've got cordoned off, if we're lucky, are within that turning circle where we've got to turn left, if that makes sense. But I don't think it is. This could, this could be a problem. I suppose I could have stopped in the bus stop if I had to. Not really uh, supposed to do that, though. This is going to be a problem. We're not going to be able to make the left turn. And then we're going to have to come to a stop. And then vehicles can't get past. This is going to be an issue. If I indicate right, they might stop. Someone might stop. Stop, 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 stop. I want to go in there. Thank you. The only, thing, only way I could do that then was to be a bully. Well, we got in. We got in. We're out of the traffic and then we're not causing any more chaos. So, win win. Come on, get going. bit snug up here. Well, I'm just undoing all the straps. I can tell you now, it's so much better now that it's not raining. Obviously, it's still, everything's still rather wet, but it's not raining, which is good. If it stays like this for the rest of the day, I'll be an happy man. <laughs> Right, all the straps are off. We're just helping out now with our trusty little stick here, making it easier for the forklift to get his uh, forks in. Got 25 bags to come off. And then, um, well, then we've got pallets on the front to go to, uh, to go to the next place. Let's get these off first though. Right, paperwork signed. We've just got to uh, do this curtain up now. So, yes, very quick. Hasn't taken long at all. Right. We are unloaded in drive. We've got a destination into the sat nav where we're going next. ETA there is quarter to, f quarter to two. We're an hour away. Um, so let's get cracking. We need to stop for a break as well on the way. So uh, yeah, there's that as well. The good news is the roadworks that was outside when we come in, I did spot just as I was driving past, uh, they were putting the cones away. The good news is there's no traffic, which means the traffic lights have gone, which is good because we're turning right, well, even if we're turning left, even if we're turning left, we would need both sides of the road. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's good that the traffic lights are gone because that means now we, in theory, can get straight out if someone lets me out. Thank you very much. And then we've got Chandler's lorry just here, also waiting. Lovely, right, let's get going. 
I will see you when we get to the garden centre and um, hopefully the rain continues to hold off. It hasn't rained since this morning, which is good. Fingers crossed. Let's cross our fingers because I got absolutely soaking wet earlier. Absolutely soaking wet. I'd really rather not get wet again. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Okay, we are coming off here. On A23, we're going on to the A273. To Hassox. Hassox, Hassox. I don't know how you call it. Uh, turn on right, so we shall indicate right, but we're taking up both lanes. Check the near side mirror because it's a sharp left turn here. Look. Lovely. Why is the truck stuttering? Dead end there. This looks familiar. This bit of road looks familiar, don't know why. I mean, I've, I've probably more than likely come down here before. The other bit of good news that I have had is I have had a message from Zibos and the reload is off. <laughs> Someone else is doing it. So I don't need to worry about going to get reloaded. I think, I think I might have enough time to go and do it. Depends how long it takes to tip here. Um, and although I might then get there on time, you'll probably notice in one of my last videos that uh, even though I turned up before they shut, if they've got too many trucks there, they just won't load you. So yeah, someone else is doing it. <coughs> Which means from here, we're done, straight back to the yard. So that is what we're going to do. Which is good. It, 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 I don't know, it just, it just like lets a lot of pressure off of me. I haven't got to worry about doing it now. And uh, someone else is doing it. So. Happy days, happy days. Okay, Garden Center is coming up very soon on the right-hand side of the road. <coughs> I love going into Garden Centers when they're busy because people do not expect a lorry to come on in. <laughs> You've got people there, people there in their cars and they just do not expect lorries to be coming in. And it's quite funny sometimes. South Downs Nursery Garden Centre. We're going to start indicating the right. Might have been a bit early. Which entrance is it? It's not this one, it's the next one. Okie dokie, let's go on in. So, yeah, there's cars parked there, look. There are literally cars parked where they want me to tip. Yeah, they haven't cordoned off the area where I will be being tipped. So I'm not sure what they're going to do. Okay, we're just going to stop here. Like I said, there's loads of cars parked here. They haven't cleared the way at all. So we could be here a while, who knows? Who knows? Let's go and uh, see if we can find someone and maybe even make a call soon a bit. Okay, so I've made a phone call, so someone should be on their way. As you can see, we're just uh, we're just parked here. I'm pretty sure they get me to park there. I think. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna move there now. So I'm in place. Right, it's one side done. There's an issue with the forklift. They can't. They can't put the boom out. So we've got to park in a position where they can access both sides. So we've just done the passenger side. We've moved forward. And uh, now we're doing the car park side. Wait! We are tipped. Let's get the engine on. We've got to be watched back. Yeah, so we've sort of parked in the car park. We've got pedestrians going past. Um, we've got cars going past. Got a pedestrian there on the left. Look now, I've got to watch out for. But 
pedestrian's on the left and I can't quite see him. I know because I'm looking right, but I need to turn so I can see him. Well, I can see him now. There's definitely people, there's people crossing behind me. It's all clear now. Phone off. So we're just now waiting to go right, but we've got to wait for these vehicles to move as well. I think the lorry driver doesn't want to go yet. They're going to get me to go. Do I, mate? Yeah, it should be right. Give it a go. Right, we're out of here. We are out of here. <laughs> Not hanging about. Got a van going. Let's let the van go first. Get out of here, mid-lift axle up, armrest down. Ah, right, so, because we stopped for a break and um, we've done just under an hour getting here, it's two hours 41 back, which means we can get back to the yard now in one hit. So that is um, what we're gonna do. We're looking to get there, um, sort of half past five-ish. And then, um, yeah, we've got to fill it with ad blue because, like I said, I've, it says I got 100% ad blue, but I don't. It will be using some. There's, a, there's an issue with it. So, um, yeah, that's the first issue with this truck. A faulty ad blue sensor, by the looks of it. But they, they get it fixed. It's under R and M, so it'd be re, it'd be replaced. I I know I can only go three days pretty much before it needs to fill up. So we fill up when we get back to the yard. And I've got to sign some paperwork, park up, and then um, yeah, by the time we're done all that, I'm probably talking six-ish give or take and then uh, go home so i did say earlier i'd probably finish about seven but that was on the basis that i need to go get loaded as well if i still had to go get loaded then yeah we probably wouldn't be getting back to like eight o'clock at least so for me it's worked out quite well um but sometimes that that's quite a nice tunnel that you probably can't see that on camera but it was like a tunnel but it looked like a church like not like a church it looked like a a castle entrance but a tunnel going under it that'd be pretty cool we're at Clayton Hill, if anyone knows where that is. Um, so yeah, not too bad. So I'll, um, I'll probably see you back in the yard on, probably I'll probably record on my phone while I'm getting like Ablu or something. So I'll see you later, see you in a bit. Right, that's me back in the yard. I haven't filled it with Ablu because I can't get Ablu. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, back in the yard, truck's parked up. I'll have to get the Ablu on Monday morning. I do need to pop into the unit. Apparently I've got some paperwork that needs signing, so let's go and do that and then we can go home. Okay, we're done. We are in the car, we've signed paperwork that we needed to sign and um, we're good to go home, we're good to go home. So yeah, luckily we didn't have to go and get that load earlier from H&H &H, because that would have meant we finished quite a bit later. Um, could we have made it? I don't know. We did. We did get caught in a bit of traffic, you know, on the way back up. So I don't know. It was a bit. It's a bit 50-50. So good call, I reckon, there from the boss to just get someone else to it, basically. Um, they managed to get loaded, and I think it was one of the trailers that was dropped in the yard already. So um, yeah, happy days. So yeah, we've done the two deliveries, and now we are ready to go home. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment, negative or positive. I welcome more comments and I genuinely do read them all. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.